So guys, we're back in action again today. It's uh, Tuesday, October 12th maybe, 13th. I think I don't know what day it is. Hurricane Delta came in uh, Friday evening, all day Saturday. Left sometime Saturday night. And it's finally got to dry back up enough to get back to cutting some beans. And actually, we didn't get very much rain at all out of it. I was shocked. Uh, they were calling for like two to three inches of rain total. We wound up getting two tenths, but uh, it was cloudy all day Sunday and half of yesterday, so we got one little rain, we did get it. Took a, took a little bit to dry the beans back out. shooting GoPro footage for the YouTube channel while shooting drone footage for the YouTube channel. Rocking and rolling with multiple hats on. Well, I decided to give Kelly a little bit of seat time on the combine. She's been griping to me. She never gets to drive the combine. So while I ate lunch, she's going to cut some beans. 
Kelly Griggs getting some seat time, cutting some beans while I eat lunch. Running it like a pro. She been busting me that she don't get to drive the combine very much, so I thought I'd give her a shot. Maybe I should come up this hill. She's clawing. Ah, we made it. Big load. I think I'll go around next time. Go down. going at it I don't know if I'm going to get her off of there now I might have, I might have been demoted I might not have my job anymore how pissed would he be if I just like went straight down this way how you like me now all right keeping called up getting that cover crop planted sorry my wind is pretty dirty not a good view is there like a little alarm on here let me know if I'm full or not Oh, there you are. Three quarters full. Thank you. Another armadillo hole. That's like seven. Oh. Yeah, I don't unload on the go. It does not happen. I'll make this buggy full. I think she's liking it. Thank you. 
Well, because I can't get back on the combine right now, it gives me a good opportunity to look behind the combine and make sure we're not losing any grain. Make sure and make sure the machine is set set properly. In here, in the heaviest part of the residue, looking for any uh, we're looking for any seed that's still down here. See, here's one. There's two. I only saw, uh, that's about a square foot. I only saw two seeds. I think about, I think about between four and five seeds per square foot equals a, equals one bushel per acre loss. So. You definitely want to keep your losses down less than a bushel an acre. So I think it's set good, doing good. Not leaving much behind for the birds. Well, it looks like my nephew came out to ride today. I think he wants to be the next in line to farm. He sure loves riding on combine tractors. Well, it sure is a beautiful October day out here. A little cool, no humidity, light uh, northerly breeze blowing. Color on the leaves is just starting to change. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, I think Kelly just found out cutting beans is not all it's cracked up to be. This is the kind of stuff you got to deal with from time to time. Didn't quite pull it through. We'll try it again. this time of the day the sun gets at the right angle you got dirty windows you can't see anything and going around the edge of the field it's always nerve-wracking hope that there's not a branch or something that's falling down the field that you can't see Blink's helping me out by trying to grab the radio I dropped I can't bend over yet and grab it thanks dude you gonna let me know if I miss some beans on the outside there all right, how much more do I need, need to fill the truck up? This entire field. You don't need this entire field. This entire field will be close to a truckload by itself. Yeah, 
28,000 pounds in the truck and I just put what, 15,000 pounds on you? So how many more pounds do I need? It's gotten dusty. Well, it's getting close to the end of the day. As you can see, you see the sun has gone down behind the trees. We just got moved over to a new farm about four miles down the road. And uh, it's, a, it's a small farm with a bunch of small fields surrounded by tall trees. It looks like we're going to have another heavy dew tonight, so I'm trying to get, uh, trying to get the smaller patches. Uh, around the edge of the fields cut because with the tall trees they'll take forever to dry out in the morning so we're going to try and get that done before we shut off but I don't know if we'll be able to or not. It's starting to get wet real quick. You can tell we got a long narrow bottom with tall trees so you can see how long, imagine how long it's going to take to dry out. It'll probably be three, uh, two or three o'clock tomorrow afternoon before this field will dry out. But we're already starting to push piles. And of course, just right when you're trying to get something done before it gets too wet to do anything, you have some little something go wrong. See a problem there? You got a sickle section broke off. I don't know how it happened, but it just decided to it just decided to break right now. And of course, I got everything I need to fix it, other than uh, other than a 7 16th inch wrench. That's supposed to be my toolbox, but I don't know where it went. So Kelly's gone back to the service truck to get me one. Stink bugs are everywhere. They ain't got much left to feed on. And here she comes back with my wrench. sections in your toolbox? Yeah, I had everything but this wrench. I think this is the one that was supposed to be in my toolbox. Uber, $7.95. What are you talking about? I picked him up. Get it? Uber. Farm Uber. Uh, oh, down. wow. Woo! Sure. I called the Uber. Oh, look at this little inkworm. That sounds a whole lot like food, and that's what, uh, that's what she had me at. Of the evening. It's, I don't know, I think it's about 8 o'clock and 
man, it, it has got wet out here. We slowed down to a crawl. We're pushing up piles everywhere. I can't tilt my cutter bar back anymore because the beans are down so bad. I'll just be, be skimming across the top of them. Uh, but we got a... Uh, we got these smallest fields done that's surrounded by highest trees, so hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit earlier start in the morning. Well, we're done for the night. Last pass. Well, guys, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Uh, sure do appreciate you watching. If you hadn't hit, if you hadn't hit that subscribe button yet, I'd appreciate it if you do it now. So, anyway. Uh, We'll be back soon and I'll see you in the next video.